you were, you were the ones trying to get at them, and they just kept fighting back and were they pulling you guys off at the end. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They, they exactly right. We came out, got the big lead early. They did it. They did it tonight. Um, and we were, you know, I thought we were settled in a little bit better in the second half. Couldn't couldn't quite get um, away, you know, get a build any kind of lead or whatever. I just it was just such a game that that you know sometimes like the ball just is not bouncing your way. And I, I was probably most um, uh, I don't know what it is amazed at how many times we had them in difficult situations and they threw a wild pass and completed it somehow. We tip it, we knock it away, and they end up they'd end up with the ball like they just they only had 11 turnovers and, I, and it felt like we could have doubled that number just on some of the some of the sequences, but it just wasn't happening tonight for whatever reason. It, like again, it just was it just some some. Plays that the ball just kept ending up back in their their favor, but um, I thought we I thought we fought really hard. Um, I thought uh, you know I thought we gave ourselves a chance there, and, and then just didn't quite play well enough down the stretch. You talked about Halliburton before the game. Yep. Obviously, very good again tonight. Just yep. What what were you trying to do defensively? Obviously, I caught that in there. And how saw all different kinds of shots. Yeah. Um, listen, he was he was tough. I'm I'm just probably from uh, certainly not. Um, you know, we were trying a bunch of different guys on him. Um, I thought we we were doing okay uh, on some of the things. Just but but we just let him get going early by by. You know, he had five threes in the first half where we just either miscommunicated a coverage or we went under when we're supposed to be going over and, and some of those things where we just kind of let him have a couple clean looks early and then, then I think he was kind of off to the races. I thought you'd be right. I think Pat did a good job of, you know, turning his water off a little bit and then he then he um, he was struggling there for a while and then he made a couple big plays down the stretch. You've got a 25th in the league in three-point attempts per game mm-hmm. so far this season. You have one two tonight. Bring that up a bit. Yeah, I think I think for sure we are. I do I do like our our rim rate is way up there, right? I think we're we are like we always want to establish. It's kind of like football. You want to establish your running game a little bit, you know, and, and getting to the basket um, is certainly uh, you know a priority first. Um, but yeah, I think it's. I think in this league you gotta you gotta be able to keep some some type of pace. You're gonna have a hard time winning. Let's see, what is it, 39 to 18 from the three point line tonight? You know, you gotta. You can't. It's not like you gotta win the three point game, but you gotta be relatively close, right? So yeah, we need to we need to make a few more. How would you evaluate the, the execution of the down the stretch? Seems like you're well inside base. Like we're a short as a normal yard. Yeah, I mean, we had a couple weird plays there. I think, um, um, you know, Joel ended up bringing that one, outletted up the floor to him on a, on a rebound. He brought that one up. I'm not sure he traveled on that one. That was that was one of them. Um, we had another. Obviously, the other one was was um, was uh, you know really bad possession where it was just kind of a chaotic thing. You know, from the start, I think it started in the backcourt and ended up. Continuing on, listen. I think again, like there were some good ones, like uh, you know, Joel turns to dunk on him, and you know, like there was there was some there was some chances down there that again, like you're gonna probably think that him turning around and dunking the ball is gonna be a basket. That's kind of kind of summed up the way the ball was kind of bouncing tonight a little bit. But but um, we'll take a look at it a little bit in the film. How did, how did that weird officiating thing sort of unfold from your perspective? The Shooting the free throws, yeah. then they realize, oh, no, you so, be able to so my understanding of it is, is that um, uh, a player gets hurt and the other team gets to pick who shoots, right? Um, however, I guess there's a little caveat in there. If it's a concussion protocol, um, then the, yeah, I guess you're supposed to shoot. But I've never been through that before. Uh, I never, I've never been that way. So. So they were going kind of by the by what I would consider the old rule that I, I was familiar with. They would get a pick, right? Um, and then the game went on, and I guess um, Secaucus called in and said, "Hey, that we didn't administer that right. It is a correctable error." 
So we had we got to choose somebody that was on the floor in that moment. So we just sent Tyrese up there. I'm sure you weren't worried. I mean, you weren't expecting Tyrese to score 50 again tonight, but what do you think he did to you know, kind of uh, slow him down? Yeah, I thought, I thought um, uh, they obviously were, were doing some things on the pick and roll, sending them a little more help. I thought they were... Um, Awful physical. I thought, I don't know how many free throws he shot, but it should have been three times what he shot. I thought they bumped him on a ton of those shots. And they started it early and and, and continued to do that the whole game. So, um, but, you know, he's got to, you know, you got to adjust to the officiating on each and every night. And you got to play through those hits and score them anyway, not let it, let it get you frustrated. You doubled down. Is that another step for him? Just... Knowing that okay, you score fifty, a team's gonna really hone in on you, and I mean, he's been on the scouting report for two, three years yeah, now. Yeah, but still, yeah. I mean, I think I think uh, you know he still played good. He still played really good. I thought you know most of the second half. Um, I just think it's basketball, man. You play eighty two. Some nights you're gonna have it rolling. Some nights it's gonna be you're not. Some nights you're gonna be somewhere in the middle of all that. But uh, I thought I thought again. I thought he did come to life there and give us a chance in the in the fourth quarter. You doubled down for like a week and a half about how you knew DeAnthony was gonna get going at yeah. some point. Um, was it heartening in the last couple of days to see him sort of get to the point where he could play in this way tonight? Yeah, I, he had a, he had a good game. Um, I think not much changed other than the shots started going in for him. He was getting you know similar looks. I thought he made some aggressive plays and he obviously was feeling better and stepped into a, some more uh, shots. So good to see, figured it was coming. Um, I, thought he, I thought he played really hard too on the defensive end, but good game for him. Thanks, guys. Thanks. All right, thanks everybody.